Wow, what an amazing soccer weekend we just had with the U.S. women winning the World Cup, Brazil lifting the Copa America trophy, and, well, USA losing to Mexico in the Gold Cup. Hey, you know, we, we could take something away from that USA game, I think. I think we're making progress. I think they're moving in the right direction. Yeah, it's a loss. Never happy about a loss. But I think, I have some hope that we're moving in the right direction. Now, let's bring it home and focus on soccer in South Florida. I'm Peter Brown, and you're watching Football Miami TV's Local News. This week, we start with an update from Lockhart. You guys asked for it, so here it is, Lockhart Stadium. As you can see, everything has been cleared from Commercial Boulevard all the way to the airport. Both the soccer and baseball stadiums are completely gone. Only one little building is standing, and that's for construction uh, you know, guys. Now, they're ready to build, but before building can start, there is still the little detail of the lease. Fort Lauderdale allowed Inter-Miami to clear the land while they worked on an agreement. There is a motion to enter into a comprehensive agreement with Miami Beckham United on Tuesday's City Commission agenda this week. Assuming the city gives approval this week, we should see some construction going up pretty quick. They're ready to go. It's flat. It's ready, ready to go vertical. Lay some foundation. Let's get it going. Just to prove it for Lardell. The MLS transfer window opens this week on July 9th. We've heard lots of rumors about who's coming to Miami over the next month we should see some actual signed contracts. MLS Buzz Twitter uh, account is reporting confirmation that Inter Miami is interested in 19-year-old Mateus Pellegrini. We talked about that recently with this quote from Pellegrini. Obviously, I know about the interest of Miami. It's being handled by my agent and he talks a lot with my dad about the topic. I'll be staying for the next six months. So let's see if that comes to fruition. Uh, we we'll should find out really soon with the transfer window opening. We should hear some news from the club like right away. I mean, we got a month. Got to hear some news. Got, we need some players. Last week, Boca Raton Football Club were crowned the 2019 United Premier Soccer League's South Florida champions. Congratulations, Boca Raton. The game against Hialeah City FC ended in penalty kicks where Boca keeper Michael Stone came up big. On Saturday, Boca Raton traveled up to Lakeland to take on the Tropics Soccer Club for the UPSL Florida Finals where the boys in blue fell 3-1. to one. Congratulations to our friends in Boca and you, Ocho Cinco, for your first year with Boca Raton. First year as a soccer player, winning a trophy, and their first year in this league. That's pretty good, that doesn't suck. Good job, Boca Raton. Staying in the UPSL, but heading a little further south to Miami Beach, where UPSL has announced an expansion team in Miami Beach. Miami Beach Club de Football will kick off in the UPSL Spring 2020. Owners Tony, I don't know how to say his last name, Il Frate and Filippo Bertolini have strong connections to the Italian soccer community and a strong plan for the future in Miami Beach. The team will play in South Florida division and games will be played at Flamingo Park. That park does meet the, uh, the guidelines for UPSL. The team has plans on developing an academy system and currently is exploring affiliations with a number of Italian professional clubs. That's pretty good news. Soccer growth in South Florida is truly incredible as there are more opportunities for young soccer players than ever before. Question for you this week is this. What do you wanna see from us here on Football Miami TV? Currently, we're doing the news twice a week, once in, uh, in English, watching that right now, and again with Uncle Ed in Spanish. And on Fridays, we have some random videos that we'll put in when we get them done. In a comment last week, it was kind of funny, I was basically called old and corny. I can't help that, I'm sorry. I am old and I am corny. 
What can I do? But what else would you like to see? That's my, what I'm curious about. This channel is just getting started. So tell us in the comments what you would like to see on this channel. And we'll see what we could do to, to, to make it happen. Make sure to check out Uncle Ed on Wednesdays for the news in Spanish. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe this video. And we will see you next week.